Okay, now that we've got our title bar set up in the upper one-sixth of our slide, now we're going to add the actual title by inserting a text box and then typing in the title of this slide. Then we will format the title in the same way that we're going to format the titles of every content slide in the presentation. And that is with 20th century monotype font at 32 points. Now we're going to input the two photographs that go with the two things that we're talking about here. Since I've already shown you how to get photographs from the web, we won't go through that again. But I do want to show you this different way of formatting pictures. Whenever you insert a picture on a PowerPoint slide, the Format Picture toolbar becomes visible up at top. So let's click on Format. Now the last time we formatted a picture, we use all those picture shapes here. But there's also a set of eight different picture styles that will also show up with the Format toolbar. And you can simply click one of those if they are appropriate. I like the one with the drop shadow and the glow. Makes the photograph stand out or the graphic stand out. So we're going to use that drop shadow on both of the graphics. Now it's time to apply animations. To do so, we simply select the object to be animated and then go up to Add Effect. Our first effect is Entrance, so we choose that and then go down to Fly In. The default is from the bottom. We want to set it to From Right. Then let's choose our next picture and we're also going to animate its entrance, choose entrance, go down to fly in again. Again, the default is from the bottom. This time we want to go from left. Okay, both of our pictures are now animated. If you're wondering why the pictures move as soon as I choose the animation, it's because I have on Auto Preview, which you see down here at the bottom. Auto Preview gives me an immediate look at the animation as soon as I apply it in order to make sure it is the correct one. And now let's put in the text box that is the main focus of this slide. After putting this in, increasing the point size and aligning it, then we're going to animate it too. So right now it doesn't matter if the text box is on top of the graphics or behind them because it will appear on the slide by itself. Now to animate this text box, we're going to go to Add Effect, pull down to Entrance, and it's going to do a faded zoom, which means it's going to go from nothing to something, as you see in the preview right there. Next, we want the two images to fade out at the same time that the text box zooms in. So we go to Add Effect, pull down to Exit, and this time when we choose Faded Zoom, the zoom will not be coming in. The zoom will be going out because we have chosen Exit. Now once we've applied an Exit Faded Zoom to both images, we have to do something very important. And that is change the timing from on click, the animation will happen on a click, to the animation will happen at the same time as the previous thing. In other words, it will happen simultaneously with that text box. And we do that by choosing the timing called With Previous or Start With Previous. And you'll see that that now changes in both places, up at the top and then down in the timeline at the bottom. Now we apply the same settings to our other graphic. We fade it out and then we go and change the timing to with previous, which you see me doing right here. And now let's check this thing out and see if it's doing what we want it to do. One click should bring a graphic in from the right. The next click should bring the graphic in from the left. And then the third click should cause the graphics to fade out and the text box to zoom in simultaneously. Okay, that looked good. Now all we have to do is duplicate the image on the right and position it below the text box and it will act as the source for that quotation. We have to keep in mind that the timing for this bottom source image 
must also be with previous except in this case it's going to zoom in it's going to be an entrance because it's going to accompany that text box so with our image selected we go up to add effect entrance faded zoom in and then we go down and change the timing to start with previous okay let's run this slide one more time and we should see all the effects that we want excellent now that we have two slides let's apply our transition from one slide to the next to do that we go up to the animations tab and click on it when we do we will see the eight most common transitions provided to us with no transition being the ninth option now it's no accident that the eight most common transitions which Microsoft provides to you as well as the ninth no transition are all simple wipes and simple fades. That's because most PowerPoint presenters get in the most trouble whenever they try to be fancy with transitions between slides. If ever there were a time when the principle of please keep it simple applies, it is with transitions. Choose a simple fade or a simple wipe and apply it to all the slides and you will never go wrong with your transitions in a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, I've chosen a simple gradient wipe and I've applied it to all slides. Let's go to the beginning of the presentation and see how it looks as we click through this presentation with a gradient wipe as our transition. Okay, it looks nice and simple, and I highly recommend that we keep it that way.